Um, I think Friday night was really good for us. We were able to come in there and just kind of get a confidence boost and get things going our way. And um, then we showed up on Saturday, and we knew we were going to play one of the top teams in the nation. So we knew that we were going to have big blocks, big opponents, but we walked in there with the confidence that we got from Friday and did way better than most people thought we were going to do. So with that said, I feel like if we play like we played this past weekend, we'll pretty much be unstoppable for the rest of the season. So I'm really looking forward to that. And one of the, so this is your first year at MSUB. Um, Coach Casey knew of you and had seen you play mm -hmm. in the past two years. Talk about making the transition to MSUB. You came in. Did she want you to play right side? Um, originally, I got recruited as a outside right side because we only have Stormy and um, Ashlyn right now. But she knew I played right side. She saw me play a little bit of that. So whenever she realized that over here she was going to need one and that I had the experience in doing so, she just went ahead and said, here, like have that spot. Because our other right side is a... Bree and she's a freshman so she kind of wants someone to set the example and be ahead a little bit because Bree's got a good swing so with a little bit of time she'll be really really good. And how have you adjusted to that role as a leader and out there on the right side? Um, I prefer the right side so it's been an easy transition. Um, as a leader I'm not kind of the person to tell people what they have to do I'm kind of more like this is how it is come follow me I'm really loud and like energetic and I just expect people to like get onto like my train and just hop on. So I guess it's gone pretty well. People are starting to hop on slowly but surely. So we'll see how it goes. And how has the adjustment been? There's a lot of people that haven't played together that um, came onto this team and you're really starting to flow right now. Um, that's probably one of the reasons that we didn't do as well at the beginning of the season. We have a lot of individual really, really good players. And then you put us all together, and chemistry, volleyball-wise, wasn't really there because we really get along. And then we just needed to get that win on Friday for people to realize that we were able to do the job and we were able to do things right. And as of right now, things are doing good. Like Practice is going really well. So hopefully we'll be able to do very well this coming weekend. So you've seen that some of the GNAC teams. Mm -hmm. um, how has it been competing in this conference so far? Uh, this is a very competitive, um, oh my gosh, what's the word? Conference. It's a very competitive conference. So there's not really any teams that you can just walk in the gym and get a win. You have to bring it every time. And I feel like that's a good thing. It lets us... It makes us be at our peak every day, day in and day out. Like, it makes you have a really good, strong worth et ethic. You gotta walk in and practice knowing that every opponent that you have is a really good one, and that you're not gonna have anything given to you. So I feel like it's really good. And for me personally, I like having that like top-notch competition. It brings me like it gives me an edge. So I like that. I like it a lot. What would you say the team is focused on this week? Uh. We're focused on consistency and energy this week. We're trying to keep things at a high. We were kind of in a roller coaster at the beginning of the season, so we kind of have already like gotten up slowly but surely, so we're trying to like keep it steady, keep it going, and finish the weekend and the season at high-level volleyball. Our um, game plan was just to play as a team and have fun. Throughout our other matches, our past matches, we haven't really been having fun and that kind of just brings us down. So this match, our main goal was fun and energy, and it worked out pretty good. Um, my main goal was trying not to make any more errors than we already have, so like not missing serves, passing threes on serve receive, getting there for free balls, so that was one of my main goals. Yes, I feel like when we play um, more competitive teams, uh, it brings out our competitiveness, and that's when we just play some awesome volleyball. It's really fun to be on the court with my teammates. So conference matches this week on the road. Uh, talk about where the team is at right now. Well, right now our team is going up. We're no longer going down, so that's really good. Um, in practice, we work on a lot of game-like situations, like offsets and things like that. So it really helps us and coach she gives us good insight on the teams that we're playing before, like, like 
before practice and stuff like that so we can actually work on stuff that we can like throw them out of system and stuff like that so it's really good and the defense the back row that you're part of has been working really well together it has I enjoy working with the people in the back row especially Stormy we have so much fun and um, as for all my other back row players I can truly say that I trust them and they trust me and that's very important on the court and to me as well. Are you getting more comfortable with the kind of volleyball that the GNAC plays? Um, I am. At times it's really, I, I get frustrated and stuff like that, but that just comes with playing any sport. But definitely playing in the GNAC, it kind of has opened my eyes to like different type of volleyball because I've played quite a few. So I like it. It's very fast paced and stuff like that. So what about GNAC volleyball have you found the most interesting? Uh, everybody's really huge. Like, I'm not used to, to seeing, like, 6'4". Outsides, usually they're, like, middles, and they all can jump, which is kind of crazy, too. But other than that, um, everybody is super competitive in the GNAC. It's pretty awesome. I bet it's fun to be in the back row and to have one of those 6'4", try to pound the ball down, and you get in front of it. <laughs> It really is. It's like one of my favorite feelings is when they think they got it and then I just like come out of nowhere and get it. And then I get super excited when our hitters like kill it after. It's just, it's, I think it's one of my favorite feelings on the court. And how is it becoming a yellow jacket? Um, it's been, it's been different, but I actually really enjoy it. It's not, it's very different from what I'm used to and I... Sometimes I like different, and Coach Casey and Coach Carly make good coaches, and they push their um, standards on us and what we need to achieve, and I love that. I like to be challenged. And what are you looking forward to this week? This week I'm looking forward to both wins. Um, we just have to work together as a team, have fun, keep our energy up, as Coach says all the time. Coach Yellow Jackets at home last week picked up a win against Alaska. Uh, first, let's talk about that match and what your overall thoughts were on the performance of your team. Yeah, I thought we came out ready to go. Um, I think we uh, produced on some of their errors that they made and went on runs, and uh, we tried to eliminate our errors. It got a little bit better. I still think that we have a long way to go, but I was overall excited about our performance and thought that the athletes did really well. And then hosted Anchorage on Saturday. Um, Lost that match, but one of the things that I picked up from the two matches this weekend was it seemed very consistent, especially on the defense. Yeah, it was better, and our defense definitely stepped up. It's something that we work on every day in practice. Uh, you know, we were looking forward to playing Alaska. They're a top GNAC team. They're a top nation team, um, and I thought that we competed really well against them. You know, we weren't producing in some of our positions, and if that would have been working for us, then I think it would have... Uh, you know, gone a little bit better in our favor, but I was overall pleased with our effort in the Anchorage match as well. Some of the players that did step up for you, you had Kylie on defense, you had Lexa on the right side. Talk about some of what you're getting from your players right now. Yeah, Kylie's been doing really well. She's been consistent. Uh, you know, something that you don't see in stats every day is our serve receive percentage, and she's been, um, you know, really consistently passing over 2.0, which is ideal for a libero. And then Lexa, you know, she's swinging hard. She's being aggressive with her positions. And I also thought that Miranda McConnell stepped up all weekend and did really well on Friday night and then was a consistent force again on Saturday. So I was excited to see, um, you know, some people other than our outsides producing numbers and, um, you know, getting a little bit of attention. And one of the things I asked Kylie about was adjusting to the GNAC. How are you doing with that and, and you know, learning about these teams? You know, it's good. I like the GNAC a lot. It's very competitive. Um, you know, it's a little different than some of the teams that we saw in preseason, and it's taken a little bit to adjust, but, you know, I think that we're getting there, and we've started to see almost every team in conference now. Um, but, yeah, we're excited about who we have left in conference, and I think that we're really confident going into this weekend and the rest of the GNAC. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about Seattle Pacific and St. Martin's. Now that you have the win under your belt and, and you know that your team is, is able to step up, talk about what you're asking about from them for this weekend. Yeah, consistent play like you talked about earlier, something that's going to be really big for us. Um, you know, both 
St. Martin's and Seattle Pacific are um, consistent teams and they have a low number of errors so we're asking our girls to kind of match that but be a little bit more aggressive on our side than they are. You know I think that um, you know both of the programs are great programs but someone that we can be definitely very competitive with so. And I know Kylie was talking about especially last week that they're having a lot of fun right now. We are having fun we always have fun um, which is a big emphasis on our program. We try and do as much as we can as a team. Our energy has looked really good in the last couple of matches, so I'm ex excited to continue on and build upon that in these next couple of matches.